Hi, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to the channel. This is the series related to MIMO OFDM. This is the third part uh, in this series. Uh, in this part, I'm going to talk about uh, the decoding of symbols at receiver, but uh, this time with a different uh, example. Uh, okay, earlier uh, I had taken a very simple example, uh, uh, you know, for which uh, uh, we had seen some strategy, but uh, with a different example, we'll try to see uh, what could be the, uh, you know, uh, different strategy that we need to apply at the receiver in order to get back uh, the symbols independently. Uh, then I will talk about the zero forcing concept. So let's get started. Um, so I had consider uh, the MIMO, uh, which is just a two plus two system uh, for the sake of simplicity, and uh, this is how I had taken. And for which uh, you know we can write the received signal y1 and y2 in this form, and uh, in the matrix form I can write it like this. And then finally this matrix form is simplified and written like this, uh, for which uh, I can derive the uh, the physical interpretation where you know the x1 is transmitted along the column vector. Uh, of h this is the first column vector and the x2 is transmitted along the second column vector of h you can see uh, uh, these things so for that uh, the physical interpretation was uh, shown like this uh, you know along uh, h1 vector x1 is transmitted along h2 vector x2 is transmitted so now the example which i had taken is the column vector h1 and h2 are 1 1 1 1 which means that uh, if i see the um, physical plane uh, there is only one uh, vector and there is only one direction along which you can transmit uh, the symbol so here uh, from both the antennas uh, the x1 is transmitted along this direction so the strategy which we use to decode is uh, to tune the receiver uh, to see uh, the signal in the same direction so this uh, this is the equation which uh, i was representing for this equation uh, you know uh, if i take uh, the vector Mm, then I will get back my x1. Okay, if I solve this, I was showing that uh, we, I can get back uh, my x1. Now, there was no problem with this, but uh, 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 you know, let's say instead of x1, I transmitted x2. Then, then uh, it's like uh, from antenna 1, the, in, the, in this direction, uh, x1 is transmitted. From the second antenna, uh, the x2 is also transmitted in the same direction. So now, what should I do in this case? Since both of them are transmitted in the same direction, there is no way at the receiver uh, you can see uh, you can tune your receiver in some other direction to separate out x1 and x2. Okay. Uh, so if you try to you know place your place your receiver in the orthogonal direction, uh, then you will see that both x1 and x2 gets cancelled. If you try to see the uh, if you try to see uh, if you try to tune the receiver in the same direction then you will see that both x1 and x2 component uh, are present in the receiver and uh, th and both of them will interfere each other and there is no way to separate them out so now uh, when uh, uh, you know when there is only one direction uh, uh, there is there could be only one symbol uh, uh, transmitted uh, from the transmitter uh, and uh, we cannot achieve uh, the spatial multiplexing but to achieve the spatial multiplexing, uh, you know, one more uh, example was considered where the channel matrix looked like this. Okay. In this case, I had taken an example such a way that column 1 and column 2 are orthogonal to each other. Okay. So, in this case, if I transmit x1 on h1 vector, x2 on h2 vector, according to the physical interpretation, the h1 and h2 are orthogonal to each other. In this case, I was mainly mentioning that uh, you tune your receiver such a way that you see uh, you you see uh, uh, the x1 along the same direction. In which case, uh, you know you will get back uh, x1 using using this equation, right? Uh, x1 at uh, was two x1 and uh, uh, and it was zero for x2. Since um, you know h1 and h2 were orthogonal to each other, this strategy worked. But what is the other way to look at it? The other way to tell this is you tune your receiver uh, in the direction such a way that uh, since you want x1, you, you place the direction which is orthogonal to the direction where x2 is transmitted. Okay, that is the other way to look at it. So, similarly, when you want x2, okay, you place, uh, you tune your receiver such a way that the receiver direction should be orthogonal uh, to x1 component. So that is uh, again, you know, th this direction, which is actually uh, the same direction as that of x2. This uh, strategy worked very well. Uh, uh, there was no problem uh, uh, here. Okay. 
but now uh, well, let us take a, a different example and see uh, you know how sh how should we look look so i had taken an example which uh, where you know channel matrix h is 4131 uh, uh, first column is like this second column is like this if you clearly see both of them are not orthogonal okay so in the physical uh, uh, if i place them in the uh, physical plane how does it look like so 41 so it would look something like this let's say so 31 it would look uh, uh, something like this okay now if you see that both of them are not orthogonal and they are they are looking very uh, close and uh, it looks like both of them are overlapping then will there be a strategy to recover uh, my x1 and uh, x2 independently at the receiver so let us see to it so we had seen two strategies right one is to see in the same direction the another one is to place uh, uh, the vector orthogonal to the one which is not intended okay so for example let's say i have x1 uh, x1 is what is intended so here i should not have any component related to x2 which means that i will place a vector which is orthogonal to x2 so what could be the uh, vector which is orthogonal to it could be something like this right So, or let's say uh, like this plus 1 minus 3 so then uh, what happens uh, uh, this is uh, 4 minus 3 of uh, uh, x1 plus this is 0 right so this will give my x1 i got my x1 so the strategy is that you tune your receiver such a way that uh, uh, you know you place uh, the direction which is orthogonal to x2 automatically uh, you know x2 quantity is gone and you see whether you will be able to recover x1 or not um, so in this case uh, how, do, how does my uh, plus 1 and minus 3 look like x is so uh, it would look like something like this so if you see uh, this is 90 degree 90 degree to x2 this is the direction i am i am tuning my receiver uh, to get my x1 so here I am not exactly you know looking into the same direction as f x1 if i try to look at it then i will have some component of x2 as well so this worked very well similarly for x2 dash i mean x2 what should be my uh, vector or direction so i will use a minus one four okay if i use minus one four then i will get uh, back my x2 you can do the calculation but in the physical representation where is my minus one and four so it will be somewhere here okay so this is actually 90 degree to my uh, x1 so this is a this is the direction i'm i am placing my uh, receiver uh, to get to get x2 okay so i hope uh, this uh, decoding strategy is clear uh, uh, now uh, in in general in general i just want to talk in general so this is my equation okay this is my uh, simplified equation from the uh, uh, matrix form so this is y bar is equal to hx bar this is the matrix 2 plus 2 matrix right so to decode x1 i was using some vector let's say that vector is uh, w11 and w21 like similarly for x2 i use the some vector so if i want to write it in a matrix form i can write it like this so to get x bar okay which is uh, which is containing x1 and x2 2 cross 1 uh, uh, vector i should use this operation to the received uh, uh, signal uh, y bar 2 cross 1 i should be using uh, uh, some w matrix 2 cross 2 uh, i should multiply with uh, w uh, to get back my this one so what is this w so as per this uh, calculation uh, if i uh, you know uh, clearly um, put it so my x1 at x2 at so um, it was 1 minus 3 i used uh, so I, I was applying on both the y1 and y2 right so then uh, in, in, the, in the for the second one i was using minus 1 and 4 i used uh, this one so now th this is my w right if i see this w uh, carefully uh, what was my h my h was 4131 so this w is actually exactly h inverse you can calculate it out but uh, this is uh, h inverse okay this is how oh, we used to you know invert the uh, channel matrix right this is nothing but uh, uh, the equalization 
now what is the concept to which we used the concept which we used is uh, to place uh, 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 to place the vector such a way that it is orthogonal to the uh, orthogonal to all the symbols which are not intended so basically uh, you know i will take this uh, matrix form this is hx bar right so now i wanted a w into y bar uh, uh, to give me x bar at so which is uh, w into hx bar so this w turned out to be h inverse of uh, hx bar right so what will h inverse into h into x bar so here the h uh, the example which i had considered in this case uh, uh, you know it is uh, rank 2 okay and it is invertible so that's why the solution uh, turned out to be that uh, uh, the solution is just uh, h inverse okay and another thing what i had considered is uh, uh, the h is a square matrix just to cross two no no what if uh, uh, the the, uh, the channel matrix h is not a square what if you know the uh, h matrix is a four cross two how to solve this okay that, that we will see in the upcoming video and even in even you know uh, right now what i had considered is since it is a square matrix uh, number of receive antenna is equal to transmit antenna what happens when r is less than t what happens when r is greater than t how to solve these things so let us see that in the upcoming videos uh, before 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 closing uh, this video i want to talk about uh, uh, one more concept uh, uh, for that uh, let, let me take uh, uh, this quantity okay this is producing identity right so what is it saying okay so this saying that uh, if we take uh, uh, you know uh, if you take uh, the column of h first column of h and if you take the first uh, row of uh, h inverse um, that should produce me one whereas uh, if i take first row and the second column uh, in in fact any other columns i should i should get zero i am forcing all the other uh, directions in which uh, the other symbols are transmitted uh, should be should be made zero we are forcing it uh, to go to zero uh, and so this, this kind of receiver uh, or equalization is nothing but uh, zero forcing receiver so i hope the concept of zero forcing is clear this is nothing but zero forcing equalization uh, or zero forcing receiver uh, we will try to derive the zero forcing uh, equalizer or zero forcing receiver uh, equation in a generic way uh, right now whatever we had seen is uh, for the case when r is equal to t but we will see uh, for a generic case and uh, from there we will see that even uh, you know uh, it works for the specific case of r is equal to t all right uh, please stay tuned thank you very much